Good morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, a presenter here at BOTB. And we're here this morning to judge our Super Drives competition, which ran from the 7th of October to the 3rd of November 2019, which is an incredible Audi adventure in Munich. I'm now going to pass over to Charlotte Houston from Onside Law, who will oversee the proceedings this morning. Good morning. My name is Charlotte Houston from Onside Law, and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Firstly, Kieran. Morning, Charlotte. <coughs> Hello, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I'm a footballer, referee, and referee secretary. And I've got number five. Thank you. Andy. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Good morning, my name is Andy Braithwaite. I'm a football referee, mentor, and licensed observer. Number three. Thank you. Leo. Hi, Charlotte. Good morning. Hello, my name's Leo Donaldson. I'm an ex-professional football player, having been at Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton Orient. Number six. Thank you. Matt. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Good morning, my name's Matt Cannon. I'm a footballer and referee. I last played yesterday and I'm refereeing tonight. I have number two. Thank you very much. Trevor. Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing over 30 years and I also mentor and observe. And I'm number four. Thank you. And Peter. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Peter Georgia. I am a football and football referee. And I've got number one. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I'll ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, judges, if you could each please now justify the position of your cross on the central screen, starting with Peter. Yeah, mine's the red cross there. Um, got the two players in shot. The, I do believe the player in blue is favourite for a challenge on the ball, but not too sure. Body language hasn't given me really much indi indication. So what I have done, I've gone with uh, his eye line there. And I believe that the ball is sort of in that in, in that area there, and I've cross-referenced it there. Quite a difficult photograph to, uh, to get a central ball back, that's where I put the central ball there. Thank you very much. And Kieran? Yes, mine's the green cross here. I think the player in blue is moving forward towards the ball quite quickly. I think he's focused directly on the ball. I think his eye line's slightly lower than my colleagues, looking at where um, his eyes are pointing, and I think he's going to attack this ball. I think the player in red is in... The background, he's looking at the ball, um, which I think is in the foreground in front of him. I'm not sure that he's going to get to the ball. I think he's just looking towards the ball. I think the brain blue is going to get there. And that's why I placed my green cross there. Thank you very much. Trevor? Yes, uh, mine is the blue cross. Um, slightly higher than my colleagues. Um, difficult one to judge, but um, just taking his eye line, the shape of the player in blue, his head, is a high line. I've just decided to send the ball there. Thank you very much. Matt. Yeah, the two players in shot, mine's the orange cross, uh, the two players in shot, I think they're on the same plane. They don't look like well, no, one's not further back than the other. I think this player is looking for the ball to come into him from, and it's coming in from the foreground. He's slightly leaning back and I think this guy's on running and I think he's favourite to, to, <coughs> to take the ball. Um, and I've got the centre of the ball where my orange cross is. Thank you very much. Leo. Yeah, mine is the grey cross. Yeah. The two players in shot. I, I think if you look at this player's eye line, I think for me the ball's in front of him and he's looking in that direction. Uh, the player in blue, same thing. If you look at his eye line, I think he's looking intently across that way. Uh, who's going to get the ball? I, I think he's moving onwards towards the ball and he, he's, he's going to make the challenge for it. But also the player in red, uh, he might be just slightly adjusting his position to get to the ball, but the ball's somewhere in there, but I, I, think it's, I think it's there. Thank you very much. And Andy? Thanks Charlotte. On the purple cross here, um, slightly over to the right uh, in regards to the majority of my colleagues, um, again I feel that the guy in blue is intently looking at the ball coming in to him at, at this particular angle, so we're all roughly along the same plane here. But I've probably overthought this one, I think the guy in, in red is probably more looking at the guy in blue rather than making an attempt to play the ball. That's why I've placed the centre of my ball. 
well, I have done that. Thank you very much. Judges, please now come to a panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is a calculated average of the six individual selections. Well, where did I hit yes? I'll put some line lines in for blue and blue for our extremes. See, I just think handing out of everybody 
is possibly not feasible, you know, I think mm. they all are. Yeah. Really, actually, I think Andy's is quite feasible if you take this guy's eye line, because I don't think he's looking as far to the right, so it could be in front. Yeah, you're yeah. saying. Where he's looking at. Yeah. Whereas I, I actually think, so. sorry, I was just going to say, that, I think the ones left to me are less feasible. I think they're all feasible because we've got no real idea, but mm. I, can, I can see why Andy would do that, because originally when I look, if you look at this guy's eye line only, you would think it's in that sort of plane, just slightly to the right of him, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I don't think it's so steep. Well, I think he, he's looking in front. I think he's looking for the balls. Yes, yeah, yeah, quite some way in front of him, if that makes sense. You know, just just, just pop it out there. Just, just so, and is the is the only one for me that yeah. I might take him. But that's just what I think. Just, just take me out, sir. Looking at looking at it as as you guys would say, like you know, the, the majority and, and you've said your reasons why that that is more feasible. What about compromise? What about putting say where Leo's is, which is slightly further to the right? When you do your, your cross. So if I put your basket in, yours is yeah. a little bit over there. So yeah. that's if you like Leo's is a compromise between the two. If yeah. if you take if you take mine out and put the cross I'll be the final cross slightly off of the off of the centre of that, that that's feasible because it doesn't have to be bang on there as you said. We're talking about slightly to one side. So it's only going to shift it slightly you might yeah. go with the, the average which is the cluster of those 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 five deal there. Yeah. In that case. Yeah, I think it's good to see. Oh, it's in front of him, it's forward, yeah. it's a little bit above. What do you think, Andy? That's, That's fine, yeah. So everybody else happy if we take Andy's out? Yep. No, 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 okay. 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 Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 1816 and 777. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.